Today is a day of love, and we have heard that these Arsenal fans are the most romantic guys around. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I've just right. shit myself, by the way. <laughs> Someone's farted in here. You farted in here? Oh, I swear, if I smell that, I swear. Oh, it's fucking like... <laughs> Lee. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it must just disgusting. He said he's shitting himself and he farted. All right, let me know, people. I'm nervous. We brought some of the most diehard Arsenal fans that I know to test how much they truly love their club. Please state your name. My name is James Bayless. Julian Fraser Becker. Robbie Lyle. Lee Mark Judges. My name is Taiwo Ogunlavi and you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. You're answering the questions? Yes. I do so, your lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can swear, but I promise to be as truthful as I can be. Would you miss an Arsenal home game for a first date? No, no, Arsenal home game. Yeah, because you could rearrange a first date, you know? No. Because I've been to every Arsenal home game since lockdown. Absolutely, absolutely not. Why? Because, listen, it would be nice to have a date, don't get me wrong, with um, a nice looking woman no i wouldn't because i think that you could go on a date at any other stage so uh, i would arrange it not on an arsenal game a first that it depends what the date is right and and i i haven't missed one for anything first date second date third date fourth date there's been no reason, no motivation to miss an Arsenal home game. But to me, no disrespect, football comes first. Dates, if they can be done, can be done later. But for me, football comes first. Depends what the game is. You know, Arsenal versus, uh, I don't know, Burnley. <laughs> Maybe I miss it, but Arsenal versus Man United. Arsenal versus Tottenham. Nah, not missing it. It's different if there's no football, but if, if the game is on, the game has got to come first. And that and be it, and that would be our first team men, our first team women, our under 21s, our under 18s, our women's development squad. All the games would come first before any day. Would you miss your best friend's birthday to see Arsenal win an FA Cup? My best friend's a Spurs fan, so obviously. Yes, 100%. Sorry. Love you all, but <laughs> absolutely. FA Cup. Their birthday comes around next year. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh... Yes, and he would understand why. Yes. Yes, because, you know, you, you can't miss winning a trophy. So I remember it was my... Uh, it was my son's birthday on a FA Cup final day. So, and I missed that. But I came up with a great solution. I took him with me. <laughs> I, I probably, yeah, I, I probably would. I probably would. I'd, I'd, have to, I'd have to make it up to him. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way I could miss us winning FA Cup over my friend's birthday. What I'd have to do is I'd have to hopefully go afterwards. If possible, but no, 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 I would, I, would, I, would, I would go to the FA Cup first, definitely. Would you miss your own stag do to watch Arsenal in a Cowbell Cup final? So my friends have organised a stag do and it clashes with the Cowbell Cup final. Yes. Moving that, moving that date, bro. I wasn't actually planning on getting married again, but I could plan another stag do. But if I was planning another stag do, maybe it would be to go and watch the Carabao Cup final. <laughs> okay, this is tough. 
Um, you damn skippy, I would. You damn skippy. Cool, of course, absolutely one one hundred percent. And the reason why is like I said, a football was come first. It'd be great if I was lucky enough to be getting married. But listen, the stag do wouldn't be that more important than the actual game, even if it was a Carabao Cup final. Obviously, other energy drinks are available. Mm. Cup final. I mean, it's a Carabao Cup, but it's a cup final. Yes, I would. Because we could have the stag do at Wembley. But my friends have organised a stag do. But my partner might want me to miss that stag do in case it's anything inappropriate, so I will watch the Carabao Cup final. There we go. I knew I'd get there in the end. Would you move your own wedding day to attend a Europa League final? You're damn skippy. And it's interesting because I've actually got a story about this. Yes. These are finals, man. You can't be missing finals, man. You can always do these things on other days. My greatest regret of missing an Arsenal game was I missed Stoke 3, Arsenal 1 in the FA Cup fourth round. Had I been to that game, I wouldn't have got married. Yes, I would, um, but I wouldn't be stupid enough to arrange my wedding in the football season. It was when we played Aston Villa in the FA Cup, when we beat them 4-0. And a, a certain channel had two Villa fans. Now, they didn't know that they wouldn't get to the final. So they had the wedding. And apparently now, the man, the husband, I should say, was, um, he, wanted, he went to watch the game and his wife didn't like it. I was thinking, if it's me, I'll be changing the wedding. There wouldn't be no watcher. I'll be changing the wedding. No. No, I wouldn't. It's Europa League. You yeah, ideally don't want to be in that one. The, the, the TV presenter who doesn't like football was saying to the woman, were you annoyed? He said, I was upset. I said, I was, I said what are you getting involved for? I'm, to, if, I'm not trying to be funny. I don't want to say this. Way. If it's me, the wedding is off. I'm talking about her. The wedding is off. The wedding is off before the game. What? I'm going to the game first. Listen, we postpone our wedding. The game is the most important thing. We get married later. Sorry, I'm distracted by the fact that I should also should add to my reasoning that the, my wedding day is a very special day and I love my partner. Would you miss your brother's graduation <laughs> for a Champions League final? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm hoping to be missing my brother's graduation day for tour this summer. So yes, I absolutely would. I'll probably, listen, I don't want to diss my brother. But you know, <laughs> I pro you know what, I pro you know what, I probably would. You know, I probably would. If I had a brother or sister, absolutely. I w I'd want to go first, man. You know, but I'll 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 just possibly say that. Listen, oh, I can't I can't go, bro, because we've got a Champions League final. I hope my brother would understand. Would you miss your own son or daughter's graduation for the Champions League final? My two kids are thick, so yes, I would like, you know. Ooh, now this is a sticky one. I had this problem last year because it was my daughter's graduation on the same day we were playing um, a pre-season friendly over in Baltimore. And I actually missed the pre-season friendly to attend my daughter's graduation. If I'm honest, you said to be as truthful as possible. I probably would because even though I'd want to see him graduate, that would be great. I just, you know, I would just, all I'll be thinking about is a game. But a Champions League final, I mean, that's something else. Um, let's, <laughs> well, we'd have to come to some sort of a compromise on that, man, because I love my children, man, and it's a big moment. Maybe we could stream the, uh, <laughs> stream the graduation. <laughs> that's all I'll be, all I'll be thinking about is, oh, I could have been traveling with, with the boys and the girls, to be fair. You know, I could have been traveling. We'd be doing this now, we'd be doing that now. I wouldn't be able to concentrate. Would you miss the birth of your first child to watch Arsenal in the Champions League final? Footballers do it, don't they? Um, my first child. Ooh, a 
I think I think that's where your first child, I think, you probably have to say you got to miss the Champions League final. But it'd be hard. Do you say my first child? That yes, shouldn't man. shouldn't matter that what should it? Um No, I would not miss that very special day, which is the Champions League final. No, I'm kidding. No, I wouldn't of course I wouldn't miss the birth of my child. Absolutely not. Well, now this is this is absolutely fascinating and interesting and as much as I would love to say I would I don't know if I could because of the fact is I'd be very lucky to to bring a life into this world but I think I would it is it, 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 it might be so but I, I that thing I think there's there, I, I just I just don't fucking do it if I was to impregnate a girl I would make sure that I did it in October or November. And from what I understand, it takes nine months for women to give birth, which would be June or July. So I wouldn't have that conflict. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Difficult one that night, you know, so uh, I'll try and fit both in, like, you know, but I don't know if I could do that. But uh, I suppose I, I would have to miss the Champions League final for that. Dad, why did you miss my birth? Because I went to the, I went to watch Arsenal, which hopefully they would be a fan. I just couldn't explain it for that. So for that one, that to me is probably the only um, exception to the rule. And the fact is, if um, my girlfriend, fiance, wife or partner, I would have to be there to hold her hand and help her into labour. I, I just couldn't do it. So that one is the only one. Would you miss the birth of your second child to see Arsenal win the Champions League final? No, but I might name them after wherever it's hosted. <laughs> to win the Champions League final? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, but you, you kind of wouldn't know the result, would you? But even so, I've, I've in my whole lifetime, I've only ever been to see Arsenal play in one Champions League final. So I, I couldn't take the risk because it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So the answer is I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't miss the game. Yeah, because we've already done it, innit? <laughs> Whereas the Champions League final, you might not, you know, I've been to a Champions League final, man. They are, you know, and, and that happened now, you know, they're, they're far between, you know what I mean? So I'm sure, I'm sure there'd be an understanding, um, me being the Arsenal fan that I am, but um, yeah. Harsh, but fair. Uh, then again, I just, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't, I, 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 I would like to think I would want, but you know, I would have to say I can't because the thing is as much as I love um, us and I love our club, if it was my own child, they would have to come first. That's a different parameter. Would you miss your girlfriend's birthday for the Champions League parade? Mm, that's not a game, that's a good one. Parade? Yeah, she can come on it. <laughs> of course, of course. I've missed my girlfriend's birthday for a cup final, so there you go, like, so the parade, I'm definitely going on the parade. Well, I wouldn't miss the birthday, I'd just take it to the parade. To your damn skippy, I would. To your damn skippy, I'd say, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Yes. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably. How many times have Arsenal won it? Never. Yeah, I think I would. Listen, I'm going to the Champions League parade. You know, I'll make up with you, but I'm sorry, I can't. I can't come to your birthday. I'll even, I'll even try and get her to come if she's good, if she wanted to. But yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I'll definitely miss it. Yeah, for the Champions. You're damn right. I'll have to. I would have no choice. I can't miss a parade. Obviously, I don't want to miss my birthday, man, but you know. Would you accept £1 million to miss Arsenal's Premier League winning parade? So I get a million in my bank if I miss this parade. Do I get to enjoy it in any other way? Um... £1 million for the parade? Yeah, come on, you got to accept the... Uh one million pounds and keep my own parade. <laughs> That's what I do. Get in contact with the players after that and say, right, listen, I missed the parade. 
but um, I want you to do like a sort of private party thing that we're going to do, you know what I mean? No, no, because some things in life, you, you, can't, you can't put a value on it. And I have more money than I could ever spend, mainly because I don't spend anything. I know people will be like, like, uh, uh, how can you not even, but it's like, it's, it's the moments, right? Life's about memories and moments, not money. So no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take the million. I don't think. Ooh. Wow. Listen, the money will be tempting, but listen, if we win the league, which hopefully we will, it's not about money. So I prob- I, I, it, the money will be tempting, but I probably would, because that parade would be unbelievable. It really would. So yeah, I probably would. Yes. Would you trade 10 billion pounds for your greatest Arsenal memory? No, because my greatest Arsenal memory was Anfield 89, which gave me the motivation to earn all the money I've earned in my lifetime. So absolutely not. Um, it's priceless. It's priceless. That, that night made me who I am. So I get 10 billion for my greatest Arsenal memory. 10 billion slightly different, yeah, I would take the 10 billion. <laughs> yeah, I'll make other memories with 10 billion, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, not that a million's not a lot, it really is before people come at me about that, but 10, 10 billion is, yeah, I'll build an arsenal, I'll buy arsenal, there we go. Yeah, I'll take the 10 billion. That's a very good question, that is, like, you know, so, uh, yeah, of course I would, like, <laughs> of course I would. I don't really love Arsenal that much, really, like, you know. Oh, wow. That would be tempting, but I, I, don't feel, I, don't, I don't feel I could. I don't feel I could because, you know, I've been lucky enough to see the Invincibles, which is the best team, I think, that I've seen. So, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like I said, it's not about the money. It'd be an incredible amount of money, but no, no, no. I couldn't because these memories of going to games, you know, what football... What, what what football has given me, which I'm lucky enough to have, has been absolutely priceless. So I'd say no, even though it'd be very tempting. Ooh. The Invincible season, man. That's my greatest, I'd say. The whole season was incredible. A billion pounds. Uh, I trade it, I buy Arsenal, and then create my own memories. Thank you very much, James Bayliss. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julian. Thank you very much, Lee. No problems. Thank you very much, Robbie Lyle. Thank you. Thank you very much, Taiwo. Thank you. <laughs> you said, thank you, sister. You said Taiwo, I love it. Would you spend a day with Mope and Troy Deeney for Arsenal's women's team to go invincible? Um, yeah, of course, as long as they don't sit anywhere near me. That's fine. As long as they sit 100 yards away from me and I don't look at them and they don't look up. Of course, of course, absolutely I would. Absolutely. As long as they don't sit anywhere near me and they're 100 mi- mi- miles away from me, then yeah, of course, of course. As long as they don't, I don't have to look at them, they don't have to look at me, I don't have to talk to them, they don't have to talk to me. Yeah, why not? Bring in the girl. <laughs> it. All right, let's go. Imagine. You've got to sit in there and linger in your own fart while you're asking these questions. 10 billion pounds, just so you know, is the net worth of the Cronkies. So yes, you could buy Arsenal. That was the reason why that's that figure. All right, there we go. I buy go. Arsenal, so I saw through that. And uh, Emma, I hope you'll s- still stay with me. <laughs> See you at your birthday. See you then. <laughs> Man said he'll miss, <laughs> he said, the women's development team, I would miss my first date. Yeah, do you the women's right. development Yeah, absolutely, That of could course. be your future wife. Not worried about that. <laughs> I don't worry about that because the football comes first. Have we started? Is that all oh, right? My bad. Do you want to start that again? Sorry, sorry. I thought that was. Sorry, it was just yeah. If I go. didn't hear like a rolling or something. Anyway, carry on. Here we go. Oh, you're the hottest. <laughs> you're the hottest person I've ever seen here, though. You know? Really? Hello. What's your name? Juliana. Juliana. Come sit down, Ty. He's a naturally prank. I knew it. Come sit. Come sit. Let me go. Let me go. Sit on this. Come sit on the chair. You haven't part two. It's alright, man. No, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Sit down. It's definitely a prank. Well, you want to sit a nice, beautiful lady,
on, Valentine's. It's a prank, man. It's not a prank. <laughs> you're trying to prank me. Girl. This, this, I have to go out and say, I knew you were trying to prank me. You okay. never prank for the first time. No, no worries. We're praying for the first time. We've got a lovely date for you. So if you could just sit down, please. Just sit down here. I'll introduce you to her. Come on, her. Yes. Why are you looking at her like that? Look. <laughs> no. oh, it's alright. Just get in the chair. <laughs> oh, <is> <laughs> I should have been fucking blindfolded. Come on, sit down. You see? So you're trying to prank me again? No, I'm not. It's, I've got you a lovely lady. You know my lady. I've got you a lovely lady. You're trying to prank me again. You know for what? the second, for the third time, man. Like. So you don't want to go on a date with a lovely lady? Just just get to know her. Uh, we've, like we've got food coming. What? Yeah. You know I don't how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. I just. Alright, say hello. Hello. <laughs> you're not screwing me? <laughs> what is your name? Juliana. <laughs> I knew it. Turn around. <laughs> I think they were low on budget this year. <laughs> I was thinking, I said, this is not a woman. I'm what do you mean this was not a woman? No, no, I, I couldn't tell because I saw the you trailer. You were checking her out, though. The way you walked in, I saw you look for you looked oh, to no, see, no, what, see what she was packing and that. I saw you looking. No, no. You were no. checking me out. I knew you were checking me out. Checking Another her out. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It was nearly a prank, nearly a prank. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.